red and white, green and white, yellow and blue, red and yellow. These are the colours that together with the magnificent costumes characterise the historical procession that has paraded through the streets of Orvieto on the Sunday of Corpus Domini since 1951. Pope Urban IV established the holiday of Corpus Domini back in August 1264. With its solemn choreography, the historical procession reveals the political and military powers of the ancient and powerful medieval commune. The commune stretched over a wide territory, including Alviano, Orvieto and Bolsena, to Orbitello and Monte Amiata. And this is why the procession is just for men, carefully reconstructed according to historical documents, and no figure is by chance. Documents tell us that 12 armed men escorted the reliquary of the corporal in an important event that began as a religious procession in 1337. It originally was held to celebrate the miracle of Bolsena, when drops of Christ's blood fell onto the sacred linen cloth during the Eucharist. It was the Bishop Monsignor Francesco Pieri in 1951 who asked Lea Pacini Morelli, a creative woman who loved local history and the traditions of her town, to invent something to make the Corpus Domini procession even more attractive. The late and legendary lady borrowed some costumes from the well-known May Music Festival in Florence. And in June of that year, the non-religious edition, the historical procession made its debut. A committee was set up to run and organise it. The first committee was chaired by Lieutenant Colonel Dante Pacini and the engineer Ugo Borghetti. Then the first costumes were made, designed by the architect Alberto Stamaccioni and by Professor Nello Benini, with Count Ranieri Fumi's advice. The incredibly efficient Professor Pacini coordinated the work, the styles and models, the choice of material and ornamentation, colour matching and fine details, casting the roles of the participants, achieving a refined and flawless final result. The skills of the best Orvietano artisans were required in making the various parts of the costumes. Some of the first dressmakers were Mrs. Capini and Barbabella, Footwear and leather finishings were by Cavalier Giuseppe Palazzetti. The ironwork by the masters Marcello Conticelli and Leonello Olimpieri. Chrome plating and burnishing by Master Luigi Zupante. And the award-winning carpenters Fratelli Ricetti were responsible for the weapons and wooden parts. The nuns of Maria Bambini took care of the decorations and embroidery, assisting the first group of people which then became a large crowd of volunteer helpers, which together with persistence and unavoidable adaptation allowed the historical procession to be held every year, and each time becoming even more splendid. In 1992, the tireless Lea Pacini passed away. For her creation, the historical procession has continued to thrive thanks to the passion and commitment of the association founded in her name. It continues its annual solemn parade. A few surprises are in store for the special festivities of the 750th anniversary of the Miracle of Bolsena and of the formation of the Corpus Domini religious procession. There will be two-year jubilee celebration in 2013 and 2014.